Hi guys, it's the VI Show. Okay, let's give it up for Tony. And let's rock and roll for George, who is a colleague of Tony. And last but not least, let's boogie on down for Bill, who is a political strategist for the Democratic Party of the U.S. Hey, Tony, you are back by popular demand. I guess we just love your British no-nonsense outlook. As you know, I am not a pessimist or an optimist, just a true harsh realist. Really, man? I would never have guessed. I've only heard you say that about 20 times before. Hey Tony, the greatest British gloomy dude ever, you are a wrong man about an economic collapse. We have good news all around. Have a look at this. Yes what VI, I agree that we are going to exit the double dip recession, however only to enter a triple dip recession then a depression at a later time. Tony. You're wrong. We are on the road to recovery. Have a look at this. The U.S. economy is showing signs of recovery as retail sales rose, reflecting stronger than expected economic growth in the third quarter. Purchases increased by 1.1 percent as Americans took advantage of low-cost loans and new fuel-efficient models to invest in new automobiles. And with the surge in new vehicles, sales of petrol were up. Other areas also showed an increase, such as electronics and the food and drinks trade. The figures suggest that consumer confidence is on the rise. House prices are also climbing, an indication that home ownership is once again seen as an investment after years in the doldrums. The data is good news for President Obama ahead of the second presidential debate. Obama needs to come out fighting after the Republican Mitt Romney landed a few blows on the incumbent during the first head-to-head. -head. This does really confirm to me that the mainstream media and politicians are feeding us misinformation. George, it is you that is out of step, my goodness, all you are is a doom and gloom merchant. Hey Bill, I agree, Tony and George are gloomy dudes. Hey, I should call this show the UK Gloomy Dudes. <laughs> hey VI, your results have just arrived, your IQ came back as negative. This is the calm before the storm. The economic collapse is on the way. George, where is the evidence? Have a look at this chart. Do you know what it represents? Er, no. It represents the U.S. debt, and may I say, excludes the unfunded liabilities. Now that we are in recovery, the debt can be paid off. I agree, Bill. Just wait and see. In the next few years, we will have solid growth. Okay, I want you to listen to me carefully. Today is the 23rd of October 2012. The economic news from the mainstream media is optimistic. Just watch how matters will unravel economically following the presidential elections. No, Tony, you are wrong. Matters will improve quickly. Trust me. Pardon. Trust a political strategist. You must be kidding me. Stop treating us like children. You know that matters will get worse because you do understand fractional reserve banking. And I know that you will make promises that you cannot keep. In a nutshell, you are conning the population. You know that telling the truth will get you very few votes. Hey, I am with Bill here. Happy days are here again. Hit the Sam. Happy days are here again. Happy days.
VI, do you understand fractional reserve banking? Hey man, what the hell is that? It is a system where you have money in reserve to enable currency to be loaned into existence. Prior to 1971 there was sensible fractional reserve ratio of about 1 to 9 because gold had to be in reserve. Do you know what fiat means? Hey man, are you trying to make me look like an idiot with all these fancy words? No VI, you are achieving that without my help. Fiat means currency backed by nothing. The dollar became detached from the gold standard after 1971 and it then became a vehicle to loan too much currency into existence. We simply had a lifestyle that was unsustainable because money was borrowed from the future. Quantitative easing is simply a method of piling debt on more debt. Raising the US debt ceiling is like you and I increasing our credit limit to delay reality. George is right. People need to wake up and do their research. The alternative media can assist in this area. Think about this. As we have become more educated and mature as a society we are able to question things. We know politicians are corrupt. This was exposed by the Daily Telegraph in the UK when the politicians were fiddling their expenses. We know that the banking elite are corrupt. The recent LIBOR scandal has exposed that. We knew that the politicians were having a cozy relationship with Rupert Murdoch because he was very powerful in the mainstream media. We know Catholic priests have been abusing children, indeed there is a very large investigation going on in the UK about a famous celebrity concerning child abuse. Corruption is all around. Think for yourself and don't just take the word of politicians who simply will promise the earth to get your votes. Tony is 100% correct. People need to wake up and do their research, because I can say without any shadow of doubt the future will be very different from the past. Quantitative easing is inflationary and will make you poorer. The predictions for living in such a world are impossible in terms of timing and magnitude, but the trends and direction can be pinned down. So who do you believe? Bill who is a political strategist who simply wants your votes at any costs and will promise the earth but simply will not deliver. Bill will treat you like a child and will tell you what you want to hear, or will you believe me a person who is logical, looks at the problem in a clear clinical manner and understands the modern monetary system. 